powder varnish or stain and varnish timber with technical wood care expert Andy Palmer. If you've got nice timber around your house, maybe a door, maybe a window frame, you need to protect it. Ideally, use a varnish which seals the timber to protect it from moisture. There's interior varnish, which is fine for furniture and most timber inside, and exterior, which has the most UV and weather protection for wood that's exposed. Have you thought about changing the colour of your timber rather than just protecting it with a clear polyurethane varnish? You can get varnishes that are tinted with colour, so you stain and varnish your timber in the one process. Whatever you choose, they both go on the same way. Today I'm going to coat a door and I want a product with exterior durability, so I'm going to use Cabot's Exterior Varnish Stain. You'll also need some fine sandpaper and a good quality brush. First thing you need to do is choose a colour. Cabot's Exterior Varnish Stain is available in four bases that can be tinted at a paint store into dozens of colours. OK, step one is preparing the timber. Because we want a smooth, glossy finish, it's important to start with smooth timber. Even though new timber looks smooth, make sure by giving it a light seam with 180 grit sandpaper. Take the edge off sharp corners to give the varnish something to cling to. Make sure you get rid of all the dust. You don't want any finding its way into the coating. Stir the can thoroughly. Don't shake it, because that will form little bubbles that will end up in your finish. Look at the way the timber has been put together to work out how you'll work around your piece. Start with the heart coat areas and work around your project following the direction of the grain. Move on to the flat areas so you can lay off in smooth, long strokes. Where boards intersect, always brush in the direction of the grain. Allow the first coat to dry and keep it protected as it's drying. You don't want any particles landing on it. Once it's dry, give it another light sand. You don't have to spend long. You just give it a quick rub down with 220 grit sandpaper, wipe off all the sanding dust and give it another coat. Apply a second coat the same as the first. You'll notice the second coat makes the colour deeper. You can keep putting on coats until you get the colour intensity that you're after. Otherwise, two or three coats is usually plenty. This will keep your timber nice and protected. Cabots. Wood care made easy.